Okay, what you see here in front of you are my three computers. I've got my laptop here on the way left, right here is my Chrome OS notebook, and the giant screen is my desktop computer. All of them have a Chrome window, a Chrome browser window open. And the reason for this video is I want to show you if you change something in one Chrome, you will change it in all of them, provided that you have Chrome Sync enabled. I actually did a video on how to sync your 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 uh, bookmarks and everything like that through Chrome, your bookmarks and extensions. Uh, so check that out if you have any questions on how to do that. But what I'm going to show you here first, I'm going to show you, I'm going to add a game on the Chrome OS notebook. And here you see uh, the two windows of Chrome, it should pop up on there once it propagates to the other computer. So we're going to see how long that takes to do that. So I'm just going to click here on games and I really don't know what I'm going to put on here. I'm just going to put something uh, simple. I'm just going to put solitaire on here. Real solitaire. And actually real solitaire costs money. So I'm not going to put that on here. I just want a quick free game here that I could put uh, let's see what we got here. All right, we're going to try Atari Asteroids here. So we're going to click on that. And yeah, that one's free. So we're going to install this. And it's installing right now. And there, it popped up on the Chrome OS notebook, Atari Asteroids. And we're going to see how long it takes to pop up on the other two machines here. There we go, on both of them, pretty much at the same time. So, not only do I have chess on there, but I have Atari Asteroids. The third icon is the web store. So that was pretty quick. So, you know, the, that's the whole thrust behind uh, Google Chrome, is that you change one thing on it, it'll change the experience no matter if you're on your Chrome OS notebook, your laptop, your desktop, a friend's computer, whatever, as long as you're logged into your Google account. Now the next thing I'm going to show you are the themes that you can actually change on here. So I'm going to go back to the web store and you can actually change the theme of uh, Google Chrome. I personally like the default, but I'm just going to show you uh, some themes that you can change to and uh, how it will propagate to both uh, other machines that I have here. So um, I'm just going to try this robot theme inspired by Android. I'm going to try this one here, and we're going to install this over here. And there we went green here, so the theme on this is green, and it should propagate to the other two computers in a second. Desktop went first, almost immediately followed by the laptop here. So you see there, as it, uh, you change it on one, like I said before, it changes on the others. And with these themes, I don't know if you're familiar with them or not, but with these themes, it actually uh, offers you, you see a little graphic down here, the Android down here. I'm actually going to change that back to default. Uh, but the only other thing I wanted to correct from one of my previous videos is that uh, if you, you have this tab key, change tab key. Now... I didn't get it to work in the previous video because I really didn't understand how it worked. But in essence, you have workspaces on your computer. So I have a set of tabs open here for uh, this workspace. And then you can make another set of workspaces by going up to your wrench icon up here and going up to New Window and it brings you over to a new workspace. So the change tabs button on the top of the keyboard switches between all of those, as you can see here. So I have three workspaces open now, and you can just change between them all. So I just want to correct that. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them at the, uh, you know, in the comments section below, and I will see you next time.